Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss about the solution for the last quiz that we had on robotics. Uh, the quiz that we had was before the midterm break. Okay, so without further ado, let's go into the solution. So the question that um, I asked uh, you to solve is this one. So it's basically you have three prismatic joint. So this is the first prismatic joint, second prismatic joint, and the third prismatic joint. And at the wrist, you have another revolute joint. So this is the final revolute joint with the wrist. Uh, okay. So the distance here is, uh, this distance is D from the base to the first joint. And this is D1, which is variable. D2 is also variable. D3 is also variable. And there is a fixed distance from the wrist joint to the tip of the uh, wrist. That is basically uh, D4. It is not a variable. Now, first step is to assign the frames. So we can assign the frame as follows. So these are the frames. So basically, if you use your thumb uh, pointing towards the x0, then your index is y0, and your middle finger is pointing towards z0, which is along this prismatic joint motion. And because um, the, we want to take the reference from with respect to the base, so we bring this frame here. So this is our original frame. And next is the first joint is uh, basically your z1 in this direction and x1 is in this direction x1 should be perpendicular to both z0 and z1 and we also have to ensure that x1 is intersecting both z0 and z1 because there is no shift of z0 in y direction that is the assumption so that's why you can uh, fairly say that x1 is intersecting both z1 and z0 if you extend this one it will be intersecting z0 as well and next one is uh, third prism uh, second prism third prism prismatic joint which is uh, z2 it is pointing downward so x2 should be perpendicular to both z2 and z1 which is as follows which is pointing uh, out of the uh, screen okay and the uh, revolute joint is um, uh, if you use your right hand palm to align with this motion so your thumb is pointing downwards so this is basically the revolute joint direction of rotation so z3 and x3 should be perpendicular to both z2 and uh, z3 and they are collinear so that's why x3 is parallel to x2 and the last one i just follow the previous uh, frame z4 and x4 as follows now once we have this frame assignment the next step is to find out the dh table so this is the things that we need for the dh table this is the dh table how to find out the dh table and this is what the dh table is all about so if you follow these rules you will end up with this dh table with 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 you can check it out uh, yourself and i hope there is no mistake here if there is any mistake please let me know and you can then use this homogeneous transformation matrix to find out a01 1 2 2 3 and 3 4 so these are basically this is a01 a12 a23 and a34 you multiply all these four transformation matrix to find out a04 so this is your final transformation matrix A04. And this first three by three component is basically the orientation matrix or the rotation matrix. And the last column is basically the position vector of this tool tip. And as you can see is uh, X is in this direction. So X is obviously this D minus D3 minus D4. So this is what it is and d2 is basically your y direction which is as follows and d1 is in z direction which is in this follows and they, they are all positive because we have assumed it to be positive in the right hand direction and the going inward positive so that is y so this is basically x this is y and this is z so this is the overall solution there might be other way to solve this problem so uh, you don't have to worry about exactly you have to follow this solution but there you, you can assign one frame here also and you will get the same solution as well 
So I hope this uh, will benefit you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.